Hi guys, welcome back to the Crafty Maven Getaway. My name is Alicia and I am here to do your uh, In Your Pocket Tuesday. Um, so you saw the mood board at the beginning. I have to admit, I really struggled because I don't have a lot of purple in my stash for scrapbooking as I think most of us probably don't. It's not a very um, prevalent color in scrapbooking. So while I love it, I did struggle trying to find products uh, that coordinated with the mood board. So instead, I kind of took more of the grays, and then I just took, um, there was a wood chip in there, so I'm using some wood grain type products. Um, and I just loved the, I took the kind of the feel of the mood board. It felt cool and fallish to me. Um, so I'm going to kind of work with that more so than the color scheme, but I did get to add a little bit of purple. And as you can see, um, I'm starting with some purple thickers for my. Uh, title card here um, and then underneath that I just used some glitz wood grain number stickers that I had to kind of put the coordinating dates uh, below the title or below the word November. Um, so I'm using a lot of the Notes and Things Project Life uh, mini kit with, that came with the embellishments as well as the 6 by 6 pad um, from Crate Paper Notes and Things and then just various other little embellishments and stamps that you'll see. So when I do Project Life, I really love to print my journaling out on vellum um, and then attach it to a journaling card. So that's kind of what that little piece of vellum with the text on it is um, that I was just cutting up. And I'm going to use that little tab ephemera piece um, to go along with it. So up in this top left uh, corner, this card, um, I'm going to play around with a couple different things. That's a piece from the Notes and Things chipboard, but I'm not going to end up using it. I'm going to go with just a smaller flat embellishment um, that says Love This. And um, I didn't like the way it was kind of blending into that purple card, so I'm going to look for something to kind of layer behind it to give it a little bit more pop. Uh, off of that color. So you see I'm kind of looking through the paper pad and <laughs> trying to figure out what I want. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I'll put some washi tape behind it. So I pull out a gray at first and um, that doesn't end up working for me. You see that I'm doing that right now. <laughs> it didn't end up working for me. It was just a little too uh, it didn't stand out enough. So I'm going to go to my trusty old uh, Kate Spade black and white washi tape here. Um, and actually this is more of like a paper tape than a washi tape. So I use these deco scissors here um, to give it like that nice torn looking edge. Um, and I'm just going to layer that behind that ephemera piece. And that is kind of the effect that I was going for. Just a little uh, extra something on that cart to make it pop out. So I'm just using my tape runner there to put that down and I'm going to move to the next picture. So I really love to do a lot of stamping in my project life. Um, so you'll see a lot of stamping here and I'm just using a, a Kelly Perky stamp that I have and I think this says this is... Oh, I'm stamping daily life on this one because this is a photo of a mural um, that was recently painted on a building downtown Minneapolis close to um, where I work, which I, I hate to say my, I work because it's only like 10 hours a week, but um, this is the building that I see when I walk out of the door. So uh, yeah, I stamped daily life there with just some black stays on and I thought about putting one of these little uh, vellum studio calico stars, but I didn't really like the way it looked. So I'm going to peel that up and just leave it with the stamping. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put this journaling down now because I'm, you know, I was thinking about it and I decided I just wanted to leave that card like that. I really love to do my project life simple. Um, I've gone through phases where I use a lot of embellishment and then I do it really streamlined and clean like um, like this one is gearing towards. Um, but uh, yeah, I find I, I like it a lot more just simple. So I just use my Xyron to stick that journaling down. And back to some more stamping. I'm going to stamp on this black and white photo of my daughter here. And I'm using um, a stamp that says thankful for this. Again, from Kelly Perky. Most of, I think most of the stamps that I use on this layout are going to be from Kelly Perky. And I get asked um, quite a bit on my other Project Light videos what I use the stamp on photos as far as white ink. Um, because I do use selfie paper. Um, and I just use stays on. And I find that it works fine. 
um, stays on is like an extremely glossy paper. So you do have to be careful. But I find that if you just stamp and let it be and just put it in your pocket and you're not handling a lot, I mean, it seems to be fine. So that is what I use. <laughs> so then I just cut a little word strip, um, which is really tiny, out of that 6x6 six six paper pad cut apart. And I just put that underneath my stamping on that photo. So um, this picture down here of this Jesus box, <laughs> um, this was just funny to me because my mom loves Cheez-Its and we found this like new variety um, of Cheez-Its when we were grocery shopping one day and my youngest daughter wanted to grab them so we got them and they actually are really good. So I just stamped on there, yes please. And um, I'm gonna end up swapping that card out in a little bit just because it's just so bright <laughs> compared to everything else with that red and orange. So uh, I'll use it on the other side of the spread. So I'm going to use this little um, two by two picture here. And ironically enough, this is of another uh, uh, Crafty Maven project that I just did, the last one I did. Um, and it just happened to fall between these dates. So I just printed a small picture of it and I'm layering it on a couple pieces of vellum. And I'm gonna stick it on that card there. And then I'm gonna grab some alphas from uh, Snap Simple Stories. And they're like a gray, uh, color <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna spell out crafty on the top and maven on the bottom and they do really kind of you know they're not super bright against that background but when you see the layout in person you can read what it says it's just a little hard on camera so yeah just finishing that up there so that card says crafty maven and that one is done so um, this is this typewriter is from the notes and things chipboard sheet and I'm just going to stick that on that card and it says you are my fave and so this is where I'm going to swap out that cheese it picture <laughs> for a picture um, of my fiance and I'm going to do some more stamping so this is um, an outline alphabet set again from Kelly Perky and I did it, it's, it was hard for me because of the black and white picture if I wanted to use black ink or white ink, but I settled on the black because I was gonna stamp over his sweater down there, which is kind of a lighter area of the picture, but it was still really hard to see. So uh, on to plan B, I grabbed some vellum and I'm just gonna stamp it out on that and I'm gonna line it up right over um, where I stamped that M on the photo so you won't even be able to tell. So yeah, I'm just stamping out my love and um, I'm gonna trim it out and I'm gonna line it up, like I said, over that M on the photo and I think I'm just gonna staple it on there. So sometimes when stamping doesn't go right, you have to just find an alternative way. Um, I try not to reprint print pictures if I can help it just because I hate to waste. Uh, my selfie paper and ink. <laughs> so these are some little um, enamel hearts from Prima. They're really old and I'm kind of hoarding the rest of the ones I have left, but the pink really matched. So, so onto the other side of the spread. Um, again, I kind of placed everything out because that's kind of what takes me the longest. So, so um, I just cut apart that four by six card because I just wanted that like light purple pinkish strip and I'm going to do some stamping on there. This is um, a I think a pink paisley stamp set and I'm just going to stamp um, hello love with like a little flag in between them and I pulled out my versifying because these are um, like the cheaper acrylic stamps they're not like the photopolymer stamps and so I wanted to, I feel like with my versifying I get the best um, image with those kind of stamps. So yeah, so I stamped the hello and then that little flag with a heart and then here is the love. And just, I just wanted a simple little phrase for that little thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut out just the box. I decided I didn't want that whole entire strip of paper. And I'm trying to be kind of careful because uh, VersaFine stays wet a little bit longer. And I was like, oh, I don't want to smear it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down and trim off the overhang of it. 
and I'm gonna grab a chipboard piece. It's gonna be a gold foil clothespin, and I'm just gonna put that um, right above the stamped area, and that card is done. So this card is kind of funny. Uh, it has a meme on it, and it just says something like, when I think the world or when I'm having a bad day, I think it could be worse. I could be Caillou's mom, which a lot of you may or may not understand. Caillou is a cartoon, and the little boy is a bit of a terror. <laughs> but my daughter went through this phase where she loved Caillou, and so this just resonated with me because, uh, yeah, me and her dad used to watch it with her and be like, this little boy, I mean, he's not teaching our daughter anything good. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to stamp on that, but I, I knew I was going to have a hard time, and I questioned myself before I did it because I was using more of a solid stamp, and the stamp says, uh, ain't nobody got time for that, and it's an arrow, and I wanted it to point toward Caillou, but it didn't stamp great, so again, I just stamped it on some pattern paper um, in black, cut around it, and then stapled it on, and you'd never know the wiser. So this is a roller phrase stamp that I got from Joanne's. It has like kind of funnier phrases on it. So I stamped um, no, and OMG on the little file tabs there. And then I'm just adding some puffy stickers from Craft Market, these little gold triangles. Um, and I'm going to let that card be done. <laughs> so on to more stamping. I'm going to move on down to that. Uh... Okay, say hi. Honey. Hi. <laughs> so that was Olivia. So yeah, I'm going to grab my uh, another stamp, and this is an outline word that says yum, and I'm going to stamp it next to that ice cream dessert picture. And then while I had that stamp set out, I just grabbed the one that said Bon Appetit, and I stamped it on the picture of the sandwich that I had. Um, so I can knock them all out at once. <laughs> and then that good stuff chipboard uh piece on the card I'm working on now is from the chipboard notes and things set and I'm going to go back to these gray alphas and I'm just going to spell out Dave and Buster which I know it's probably Dave and Busters but the S would have thrown every the centering off and I didn't want to move everything over so uh, I feel like you know down the road when I when we're looking back at these albums I don't think the missing S will be a big deal so it says Dave and Buster <laughs> which is where we had that, that food at. So I just added a wood veneer to that bottom left card. Um, it just says something, a nice little saying on it. And I just put a heart on it, um, a wood veneer heart. And then for this card, I am just grabbing this uh, acetate piece that came in a Studio Calico Project Life kit. And I thought it kind of brought that green um, from that Caillou meme uh, into the rest of the page and I'm going to add a couple little word phrase stickers at the bottom and I decided to switch those two cards around and that is it. So I'm going to do some close-ups now um, of them all in their page protectors. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Crafty Maven channel you get a brand new video every single day um, as well as there's a Facebook group and a blog. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.